towel as usual. Yes, always handy. Yes, get some water bottles out. If you have dumbbells, I prefer to use the dumbbells. Um, you need a stick, just a broom stick because you might do some twisting for the abs. And um, a chair. And of course, your mat. Okay? Okay, so grab your things together. This is gonna be a great workout. Let's do it. Welcome to the special episode of Good Life Life. Okay. If you can 
jump, just modify them. Yes, for example, if you cannot do the jump very well, just move your legs as long as you keep on moving, okay? That's all that matters. Let's go.
dumbbell, which is one I need. Um, and that's it, that's all I need. Okay? So we're gonna do the leg extensions. You have this machine in the gym, which you can also make one at home. Okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna place the water bottle or your dumbbell in between your feet. Okay? So Holding it in the back of your feet and the front of your feet, okay? It's in the middle of it. And when you're going to do, you're going to just lift it up from the floor, okay? That's one exercise. Okay, second exercise is going to hold onto your chair. Yes? You stand on one, on one leg and you're going to lift up. I should do it well. So the, the leg that is straight down, that's the leg where you have your dumbbell or your water. Okay? And the other leg is bent to the back. And you're gonna go on your toes and back down. Okay? That is for the calves. You all want beautiful calves, right? Okay, so we're gonna do one minute of the seated leg extensions and then 30 seconds of each leg, okay? No pause in between, you're going straight in, okay?
taste of them, and then I'm gonna have her break. Okay? So pay attention, I'm gonna show you all six exercises very quick. You will need your broomstick first of all. Okay, so get your broomstick. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, the first exercise we're gonna do is the chop. It's like you're chopping a tree, okay? So you're gonna go like you're playing golf. Yeah, so you go up. Your leg pointing out, your knee pointing out the direction of your arm, right? And then down, from up to down. If you have, if you have this ball at home, you can use this ball to for extra resistance. Okay, you can even do it with the resistance band if you have a resistance band at home. This, so you can hook it up at somewhere on the top, and then you just have to just pull it from up to down. You really feel it in your obliques. These are your obliques in the side of the abs. Okay, so yeah, you will feel it very trust me. Okay, so if anything you can use, always use it for extra resistance. Okay, so right now we're just gonna imagine you have something, okay, but you're gonna still feel it. Okay, you're gonna twist from this side. And now this one is pointing that direction. So it's pointing this direction, toes go this way, and then other side, we're down. And then we have to do the other side from up to down as well. Okay, 30 seconds each. After you finish that, and then lay down. Hands underneath your glutes, legs up. One down, and then the other one. Do not do this, I don't want to see this. Okay, that's a different one. I just want you to go one leg at a time, okay? After that, we have the windmill. This is where you will need your stick. Okay? You're going to twist from side to side. Okay? Your hips don't move. Open your legs apart. You can also put your legs together as long as your hips don't move. Only your waist. Okay? That's the twist. This is the windmill, sorry. So you open your legs wide. It's also with a stick. You're gonna go from this side to the other. So you try to bring your elbow to your opposite knee. Okay, but your back has to stay straight. This is not what I had yesterday. And right now, you are enjoying my beat. Okay, I don't want to see rounded back. Always keep your back straight. Always push your chest up, okay? Very good. Then we have the Russian twist. You can use a stick or without a stick, whatever you want. Okay, it's like you're rowing. Yeah, you can do it this way, or you can just go from side to side. Okay? And then the last one is the Superman push-up. Yeah, finish up with a bang. So, you're gonna go in a push-up position and you're gonna bring your knee to your elbow again. Okay? If you can't do that one, if it's too difficult, just do the normal mountain climber. So it's always good for the abs, okay? Okay, that's it. You can also do the mountain climbers. Remember, on if that's too hard, just do it on the chair. Lift up the leg. Okay? Okay, let's do it. We're gonna do this routine behind each other twice. Let's go.
Okay, so just comment below of this and either Larry or me tag our names and we will answer any question you have regarding your fitness goals. Okay, let's do this starting from now. Let's stay fit, let's stay healthy, all by Nagico Life Fit.